and welcome back to the channel on this video I thought I'd talk about something that I don't really see anybody talking about and I think it's an interesting topic because I think we're going to see more of these in the future and that's used e-bikes so I mean the e-bike world has been around for a while but it's really starting to take hold here in the last few years especially in the US and Canada whereas in Europe and Asia it's been around for a while uh, longer so I wanted to give some tips on buying a used e-bike so I think the first thing I want to bring up on this would be proof of ownership I mean you want to make absolutely certain that the person that is selling you the bike actually owned the bike or owns the bike and it's not a stolen bike or anything like that you don't want to have that situation for sure so that would be one you'd want to make sure that the person that you're buying the bike from actually is the owner of the bike and something else I want to point out too is that once you buy a bike off somebody else a used bike basically the warranty will be voided because when you buy the bike you're the only one that that bike is under warranty too so keep that in mind if anybody else uh, if you buy a bike off somebody or they buy one off of you that's going to do it for the warranty on everything so just keep that in mind that's one of the negatives uh, even if they bought the a bike only a month ago and the warranty still for a year you know you got to you got to make sure you know that the warranty will be voided right there so that's one uh, uh, that's two uh, proof of ownership and then uh, making sure you know and then some other things would be I think the other one would be I think you got to go there and actually see the bike I don't think you're gonna want to take a chance on buying like you do a new bike online like my bikes are all you know bought and online I had no idea what they looked like as far as in person only on video and from the websites and did my uh, due, due diligence that way so having a chance to see the bike up close would be a, a definite plus because then you can see what condition the bike is in and that's really important right so you want to make sure the bike is in good condition it doesn't look like things are missing off of it or there's been any uh, shenanigans going on with the bike um, one of the big issues is going to be too with the battery battery life because uh, the battery can be anywhere up to 50% uh, of the bike's value could be in the battery anywhere from like say 30 to 50 percent and that's quite a bit so you want to make sure the battery has some life in it you don't want to buy a bike that's going to need to have a new battery put on it right away so um, if you don't know how much life is in the battery one way you can figure it out would be to take the total miles of the bike and divide the range battery range that that bike has that battery has I should say for that bike and uh, see uh, what you come up with what number there so that'll be how many charge cycles uh, let's see what are some other things does the person selling the bike have a maintenance record of things that they've had done to the bike or have they had anything done to the bike um, you'd want to have uh, 
knowledge of that if there was anything done to the bike uh, some of the other things would be um, red flags would be if they had no keys for the battery or no battery charger those are definite no-no's because if there's no charger how are they charging the bike up are they keeping the charger on you you definitely want the charger because sometimes there are specific chargers that go with specific batteries especially or voltage and, and things like that so you want to make sure that they give you the battery charger and I have not seen a bike yet that you buy that doesn't come with a battery charger the only way they don't come with a battery charger is if you get sometimes a secondary battery for example I'm riding the Lyric Graffiti right now and I got a secondary battery I got the dual battery set up, but I only got one charger. But then when I bought the Aerial Rider Grizzly um, version two, it came with two chargers. And now if you buy version three, it only comes with one. So it's kind of rare for them to uh, give you two chargers. Um, for a uh, two battery setup, but for the Grizzly, say you were buying a used Grizzly, like the one I have, the version two, well, those two chargers are specific for each battery. They, they have their own um, battery charger, each battery, because the plug on the end is different. And so um, you'd want to make sure you had that for sure. I, I'd be definitely uh, wanting to charge it. I mean, you could buy one, but they should have one with it. Um, another red flag definitely would be no proof of purchase. If they don't have a proof of purchase, unless you want to take a chance, um, you know, that's definitely a red flag. I don't think you want to be going there. And just overall, check out the bike and make sure that the bike is intact. And then uh, also when you go to uh, purchase the bike, uh, if should you purchase the bike off of uh, whomever's selling, then you want to make sure that you feel comfortable with where you're meeting up and all that. So probably better to bring somebody along with you. And uh, uh, it's unfortunately or unfortunate that we that we have to look out for all this kind of stuff, but we just do. Just you know, it's just the way society and the world is. Unfortunately, we can't trust. Um, I have full trust with folks, and um, it's just too bad. I mean, I. I wish we, we could all have uh, trust in each other and, you know, um, be able to trust each other and go through, uh, you know, with your trust. But uh, anyway, that's the way the world is. So those are just some of the tips. Some people uh, may not even want to buy a bike uh, used. It may not matter um, if they're not comfortable maybe buying the bike. I'm riding now somewhere where I'm always nervous riding in this area because of the nail that I got. The flat tire on this bike recently was from right in the, on this uh, bike lane here. I'm going to hop off here anyway and turn left when there's nobody coming. But those are just some of the uh, tips on buying a used bike. I don't think it's all bad. It might be, you might be more comfortable should you buy one off somebody you know. That's probably 
that's the best way to go. I mean, it's going to get to a point where I'm probably going to have to sell out some of mine when I get too many, you know. You just can't have them all. You, you know, it takes a lot of space. And you're going to get to the point where you just can't ride all the bikes, right? So you do your review and whatever, and after a while, you know, it's uh, too many bikes. One's got to go, then another's got to go, but... But the, the one benefit, there's many benefits, I guess, uh, cheaper. But the one thing I would like about it is that maybe there's a bike out there that you want that costs, okay, let's say the Onyx RCR. I'm just going to use that as an example because that's a pricey bike. So that bike is going for $5,000 right now. So um, and there's a lot of folks out there that are, don't want to fork out $5,000 for a bike. So maybe if they could buy a used one for $3,000 or $3,500, you know, and it doesn't have much wear and tear on it, you know, you get yourself a good bike at a lower cost and you get the bike you want that you couldn't afford at five, but maybe at three or three and a half, you can. So, and then it could be a $3,000 bike that's hardly been used that somebody's selling for 2,000. They don't like the bike or, or something, circumstances, they could be moving or whatever, then, um, you know, you get a good deal right there, uh, knocking a thousand off. So there's benefits, but you just gotta watch out. And um, before you make any deal, just make sure you're comfortable with what you're doing. Well, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you for coming along on the ride. I wanted to do a little talk on used bikes because I think that's gonna be something that's gonna come up here in the near future. We're gonna start to see a lot of used bikes out there. And uh, another thing I should mention is sometimes you can use a used bike for parts for your bike could be too. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, thank you for doing that. Uh, just hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that, hit that uh, notification bell and you'll be notified. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, take care.